Today's story is about Miss B, a 35-year-old computer analyst who comes to see me because of extreme bloating. I feel ballooned up, even after minimal eating, feeling like I'm three months pregnant. This is causing me social isolation, depression, anxiety, and stress. Let's admit it, extreme bloating is no joke. It is common, annoying, and can be very disturbing. About one in three American individuals suffer from bloating symptoms. Well, what causes bloating? Our understanding of bloating is far from perfect. What exactly causes these symptoms remains controversial. But few points merit attention. Number one, multiple studies have consistently demonstrated that there is no increase in intestinal gas in patients suffering from bloating. Radiographic studies and quantitative assessments of intestinal gas have demonstrated same finding. There is no excessive gas. And number two, multiple studies have also shown and proven that underlying excessive gut hypersensitivity and exaggerated pain perception is the crux of the problem. Increase in luminal contents due to constipation such as solid contents, water content because of excessive salt intake or uh, infections or inflammation in the gut can also cause bloating and distension symptoms. Now, is it concerning and is testing required? In an attempt to prevent accepting the defeat to explain the origin of these symptoms and also because of sometimes underlying patient anxiety, clinicians tend to order a lot of blood endoscopic or radiographic testing. This does not contribute to the diagnosis or treatment of the problem. Younger patients, usually less than 50 years of age, with long-standing history and minimal concomitant symptoms that are alarming such as diarrhea, weight loss or anemia do not require further testing. Whereas elderly individuals with short span of symptoms require more thorough investigations. Now how do we treat it? Well, since we don't know how the symptoms originate, treatment can be very frustrating and difficult. But it should be geared towards managing underlying irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. I recommend a threefold approach. Number one, Pharmacologic agents such as cymethicon, activated charcoal, antispasmodics, and fiber supplements. Number two, dietary and lifestyle modifications. And number three, education, psychological reassurance, and treatment of concomitant psychological comorbidities such as anxiety and stress. Finally, don't get caught in the measurements. You're much more than that. Maybe you're trying to protect your six packs with a layer of gas and fat. Thank you so much for listening. Keep smiling. Stay safe.